any engine will tell you never to go to the smelter's yard. It is the place where engines go to meet their end and provoked enough fear to keep most everyone out. Except the two diesels that worked them, Harry and Bert, who reveled in the power that the smelter's yard gave them over other engines. If an engine could not be found to take the scrap to the smelter's yard, Harry or Bert would venture out to pick it up themselves, a task which they loathed. One day, Harry was called to pick up a load of scrap near the shed where the little engines lived. No good layabouts. I'll make a little trip down the lawn, can they? Pah! I'll show them. What are you two looking at? You're small enough to be toy trains! Peter, Sam, and Duke were most offended. They were small, to be sure, but they were certainly not toys, and they had as much right to be in the sidings as Ari did. Who are you? None of your business! Don't talk to Peter, Sam that way! You must be one of the diesels from the scrapyard. I'm glad our rails don't go there. I couldn't abide having to see you all the time. Take your trucks and leave us alone. Harry was about to retort. But then... You're the lost engine, ain't ya? That's right! It's a shame that we weren't able to find him first. Duke would have made excellent scrap. If I've heard correctly, he's not running too well now. So we might see him soon. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Peter Sam. Now hurry or you'll be late for your evening passenger train. Peter Sam scampered off to fetch his coaches. He was usually very excited to take his evening train to pick up passengers from the lakeside. But tonight, he felt very worried and confused. What if Duke would have been sent for scrap when he was found? What if Duke broke down? What would happen then? The normally jovial Peter Sam was very quiet for the whole trip. He was thoroughly preoccupied with his dear friend Duke. The next day, Peter Sam sat in the station yard waiting for Duke to pass with empty slate wagons destined for the quarry. This was always a sight to behold as Duke charged the hill towards the top station. More than anything, Peter Sam hoped that this would prove to Harry that Duke still had a lot of strength. Peter Sam waited and waited. And finally, he heard an engine coming round the bend. But it wasn't Duke. Linnaeus, what are you doing here? Duke isn't feeling well today. I'm pulling his train. better if you get out and pull the train. You impertinent scallywag. I'm under the weather today. Haven't you heard? But you can't be ill. If that diesel sees you, you... you... I'll be taken for scrap. Is that it? I don't want you to be scrapped, Duke. You've only just gotten here.
Never to worry, Peter Sam. I'm not going anywhere. You... You're not? My no. I can't be scrapped. That search party found me because they wanted to preserve me. Even if one day I'm out of puff entirely, I'll still be around. That dirty diesel only said those things because I told him off. P preserved? Yes. All of us little engines are preserved. We're safe here, Peter Sam. I promise. Peter Sam felt very relieved. He stayed in the sheds and talked to Duke for a while, and then went off to find his own train. He felt much better knowing that no matter what, he and his friends would all still be together. He also knew exactly what to say next time he saw Ari the Diesel.